Hey there, me again. Uh, here I am in Microsoft Teams, and uh, at the same time, I've also got Microsoft Teams on my phone. So uh, this is just my phone that I'm driving at the moment and sharing up on my screen. And if I launch the Teams app, um, there's something new that's uh, shown up there at the end of November, which uh, you may not may or may not have known about. Uh, and that's this little guy up here at the top of whether you're in the activity feed or the chat area, there's a little microphone option there at the top. Uh, and you probably wondered, well, what is that? Uh, let's see if we can find out what it is. Uh, if I tap on it, it says, how can I help? There you go. It's giving me some stuff that uh, is very uninteresting to me because I'm talking to it when I shouldn't have been talking. So let's uh, actually press it again and we'll ask it a question. What's my next meeting? Next up at 10.05 a.m. T4LU and I daily catch up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, try something else. Um, you can see up the top here in my in my teams, whoops, let's go back to teams. You can see up here that my status is currently set to available. So let's just try this instead. Uh, I'll go back to here and we'll press this little uh, microphone at the top here. Change my status to do not disturb. I'll set your status to do not disturb. And there you go, it's changed to red. Uh, let's get out of that one. And uh, what about messaging somebody? Uh, send a message to Greg Tardiani. What's your message? Hi Greg, I'm just testing the speech option in the Teams app, so you can ignore this message. I just want to see if it works. Send it or change it. Send it. I'll send that. There you go. So that's the um, new feature. It's actually using Cortana. It's built into Microsoft Teams. It's enabled in our Teams service. And uh, if you're using Teams on a mobile app, uh, whether it's the iPad, whether it's iPhone, or whether it's Android, uh, you can talk to it now and, and give it a whole bunch of different instructions, and it will do them for you. Uh, definitely don't do it while you're driving, but uh, it's certainly a handy little thing to do if you're um, needing to very quickly uh, compose a message and send it off to somebody who you probably regularly speak to. Hope that was of use, and I'll see you in the next video.